Okay, so first we're actually going to start by looking at some of our fingerprint products that you could take in a mobile laboratory to the scene with you. So first of all, you can see here we have actually got our MVC light, which is a fully portable cyanoacrylate fuming system. So you can fume very small pieces of evidence whilst you're at the scene, including inside your mobile laboratory. Now, we can provide cyano bloom, but we also have polycyano as well. Now, polycyano is a cyanoacrylate, uh, a cyanoacrylate uh, glue, which also has a dye stain embedded within it, which will emit fluorescence, which we can view using light sources. We also have our FP natural powders. Now, our FP natural powders are powders which work in the infrared. They are an application uh, known as infrared fluorescence. And we can place our powders directly onto our finger marks or over the top of our superglue marks. Now this might be useful when you have really difficult and particularly patterned or busy backgrounds because, because we're using IR fluorescence we can help to drop out those backgrounds. It might also be useful when you're working in covert operations or covert situations where you, know, you need to go into a scene very quickly, powder, image and then leave the scene. We also have our superfume system, which is another cyanocolate fuming system, but this time for larger areas. If you're having to deal with a, a large crime scene, perhaps where the furniture is unmovable, a lot of the evidence is unmovable, or perhaps even a vehicle, we can set up our superfume system and we can fume an entire large area. Now, once you've actually developed your fingerprints, how do we image them and how do we see them? This is where we would use our different light sources. So next, we're gonna to talk to you a little bit about our crime light X's and our crime light auto. Particularly with the crime light auto, if you're looking at super glue, cyanocrylate marks, you can use the reflective UV capabilities on the crime light auto. With the FP natural powders, we can also perform IR fluorescence imaging on there as well. And with Polyciano, you can do UV fluorescence imaging. So let's have a look at our light sources. Right, so now we're going to have a look at some of the crime light sources that may be useful to you in your mobile laboratory setting. So first of all, we've got our crime light X's. So we actually have two versions of the crime light X. Our first version of the crime light X is the X10. And this provides you with 10 different wavelengths of light. Now, it's important to have a range of light sources to find a range of different evidence types at your crime scene. So we have uh, visible light sources. We have, we've given you the ability to create fluorescence as well. But what else in the kit do we need to view fluorescence? One of our latest products as well is our new ProVision goggles. Now these are goggles which by themselves act as a UV safety goggle. But now, instead of having to have lots of different goggles for each different light source, we have magnetic filters that simply click onto the front, depending on which light source you are using. Now with fluorescence, it's really important that we use the goggles because this blocks out the excitation light from your actual light source and actually allows us to easily view the fluorescence, whether that's fluorescent fingerprints or maybe body fluids or other trace evidence. Now, as part of the kit, you do get your ProVision goggles and a number of different magnetic filters. We also have a few different areas of the kit, such as the accessories like the self-test end cap. Now, one of the great features we have integrated into our Crime Light X's is the ability to do a self-test of the light intensity. So if you're working to ISO standards, whether that's 17025 or 17020, you can test your light sources on a regular basis. Within the end of your Crimer X, there is actually a sensor. This will reflect the light back off the inside of the cap and it can run a quick self-test to determine that the light intensities are the same as when they left Foster and Freeman. We've also given you a range of chargers, batteries, with the battery life being up to seven hours with our Crime Light X's. Now we've talked a little bit about the Crime Light X10, which gives you 10 wavelengths of light. 
from the UV through the visible and even the infrared. But we also have the X5, which we've very affectionately termed as well the serology X, because this works at the, at the lower end of the spectrum. So we're looking at the UV, the violet, the blue, and the blue-green. We've also given you a white light source as well for general searching. But because of these are the types of light sources that you need to look for evidence such as body fluids, you have less wavelengths but more power as you've got two LEDs per wavelength this time round. So um, we've had a quick look at these Crimal X kits, so how about we take a look at a couple of samples now using our Crimal X sources. Okay, so let's start with a couple of body fluid samples. So here we have our crime scene investigator first using our Crime Light X5 to search this white t-shirt with a simple white light general examination. But with white light, we really can't see that much. And this is why it's important to have a range of light sources. So the CSI changes her goggles to put on the right set of filters as she changes to a blue light source. Now she's able to search this white shirt for any visible signs of fluorescence being emitted from a body fluid stain. Now white shirts can actually be quite difficult to see certain body fluids on. So where you have often clear body fluids like saliva and semen, these can be difficult to see visibly in the white light. And this could be why it's so important to have something like a blue light source with the correct filter as part of your arsenal. So it's also important to understand with this next sample that not all body fluids will fluoresce under the same light source. And that's why it's important to have a range of wavelengths of light to search for body fluids. So this time in this example, we actually have a uh, semen and our CSI is currently searching with a white light source to see whether or not there's any evidence of staining. The CSI will then switch this time to a blue-green light source and add a 550 long pass magnetic filter to the ProVision goggles. Now the CSI is able to screen this set of pajamas using the blue-green light source and can now visualize multiple areas of staining. So finally, so you may have seen um, our light sources in many of our other webinars, but we've got our crime light auto as well. So our crime light auto is not just a light source. It's an integrated set of light sources, filters, and camera equipment, all miniaturized and built into one handheld unit. So this is really important as well because we've given you your visible light sources, so you can do fluorescence photography. Um, and linking that back to some of the fingerprint products we showed us, you can image your fingerprints directly on the auto using a range of different fluorescence techniques. We've also given you as well the ability to use non-visible light sources, so the UV and the infrared. Now, reflective UV is a really great light source, a really great application for finger marks, particularly cyanoacrylate fumed finger marks. So after you've fumed your finger marks at the scene, we can use the reflective UV technique to view those finger marks directly on the crime light auto. Within the crime light auto, it also has a Wi-Fi capability. And alongside our crime light app, you can directly send images of your finger marks or other evidence types directly from the scene back to base whilst you're still at the scene investigating. So, included in the kit, we give you a, a number of different batteries. So we have two small, two amp batteries, and one larger four amp battery, which together will give you up to four hours of charge on your crime light auto. We've also integrated a number of new accessories into the Crime Light Auto. The first one being an oblique light source, which fixes around the outside of the Crime Light Auto here, and allows you to do oblique lighting 
perhaps where you're working with 3D finger marks, such as finger marks in blood, uh, or maybe even tool impressions as well. We also have our coaxial attachment, which we showed you last week in our, in our webinar with the DCS-5. And this actually allows you to take images on samples where you have a substrate which may be shiny or reflective in nature. And it may be difficult to image something like a finger mark on this type of surface. So we've talked a little bit about the Crime Light Auto and what it can do. But now we've also got our brand new Crime Light Evidence Sample Kit. So this is a brand new product that we are going to be releasing shortly. And we have actually made samples that you can use for training purposes, for testing purposes in your laboratory. You can use them to test your Crime Light Auto, your Crime Light X to make sure they're working efficiently. And these have been designed by forensic scientists as well. So we've designed a range of different evidence types that you might come across at scenes. And it, we will show you uh, using a video that's integrated into the Crime Light Evidence Sample Kit box. We will actually show you how to use which wavelengths for each different evidence type and which will work best. So how about we have a look at some of the samples in our sample kit with the Crime Light Auto. Okay, so let's have a look inside our evidence box. You can see when we open the front, there is actually a small video screen and a video will automatically start playing. And this will give you a short training session on your chosen light source. Now, as we look inside, we can see 10 samples to begin with. But if we actually pull out the top layer of our samples, there is also another layer of samples underneath. So with our Crime Light Auto in particular, you get 20 different sample types. And these are 20 different types of evidence or 20 different types of evidence on different substrates as well. But this is the type of evidence and the range of evidence that you might come across at a crime scene. And the guide is there to show you what you could be missing if you're not using the right light sources. So using fluorescence photography, but also using non-visible light sources like UV and infrared as well. So let's have a look at a couple of samples within the kit. Okay, so here we have the Cromlet Auto in our live view mode. Now with the Cromlet X's, we looked at some other different types of evidence like body fluids. But what else could we potentially find at a crime scene? Here, as I screen this piece of fabric with the white light, we can't really see much upon it. This sample actually has a number of fluorescent fibres over the top. And if we simply switch to a different light source, which in this case is a blue light source with a 495 long pass filter, we can very clearly see evidence of fibres which are fluorescing now on the fabric, which were previously invisible. Now in the kit, with every sample, each sample has a label, each sample has a label on the back, which will give you the appropriate light sources and filters that you can use with that specific evidence type. Now, if we move on, we'll move back into the white light for our next sample. Now, this is actually a paint sample. Now, we can actually use infrared to penetrate different types of paint. Some paints will absorb infrared, while others will reflect infrared. And those that reflect infrared, we can see through. Now, with this sample in the white light, we can only see the top layer of purple paint. If we change into the infrared, okay, we can actually now see underneath it another layer of paint in the FNF symbol. And it's not just paints that you can see through to see other paints. Things like blood and gunshot residue will also absorb infrared. So if you have a sample where perhaps at your crime scene, someone has tried to paint over areas of blood staining or blood spatter, you may be able to see through the paint to see the blood beneath it. 
Okay, for our final sample, we're going to go back to the start and we're going to go back to simple finger mark analysis. Now, one of the samples in the kit is actually a fluorescent finger mark, which is designed to mimic a number of different fluorescent treatments which you may come across. Now, as we talked about some of the treatments that you can do at the crime scene, we can see now using a blue-green light source with a 550 long pass filter, we can see evidence of a finger mark fluorescing. And there are a number of different finger marks within the evidence sample kit, which have all been treated slightly differently. If we take an image, that image will now appear in our sample gallery. Now, some of the great features within the Crown Light Auto is you can actually enhance images. So if we go into our enhancement area, we can grayscale and even invert our finger mark. We can perform basic enhancements. But now we have an image of our finger mark in grayscale. Very clear, concise, flowing ridge detail throughout. And using the Wi-Fi capabilities of the Crime Light Auto, we can now send this back directly from the scene for further analysis.